Today, we're going to be unboxing a Starlink and giving you an MSP's eye view of the tech. Let's get it out. <laughs> Magic. Okay, let's go. Here we go, we got the mounting bracket. This is the Starlink itself, the actual antenna. Ooh, that's heavy. What is this? Okay, we've got a cover for the Starlink. This looks like the router that comes with it. This is the power supply, but we're also carrying data over this. 25 meter cable, I believe. So obviously it connects to the router on one end and then the radio on the other side. Really heavy. It must be doing a lot inside this. And there's a data cable, standard RJ45, presumably Cat6 on that one. But this looks like a USB-C mixed with a micro USB. Bracket for the power supply, some stickers. And then what have we got here on the broadsheets? And that is the box unboxed. Very minimalist, very techy, very heavy, robust, looks good quality. Let's plug the tech in. Motorized unit right there. Let's try to find the sky. I'm sorry, I'm sorry Starlink. There's no sky available right now. Yeah, we've got the Starlink router connected now to the power supply, power supply to the receiver. There's about 6,000 satellites above us right now, all across mostly all of Europe, mostly all of North America, quite a lot of South America, a little bit of Africa, a little bit of Asia. It's gonna work with microwaves, it's speed of light as fast as it can get to low earth orbit where we've got satellites up there. As far as like actual like speeds and data, it varies. But average expectancy, we're looking at about 220 meg download speed, which is pretty good. And then upload speed is around like five to 25 meg. So almost similar to a DSL line, it's prioritizing the download, which is what most consumers will probably need. And you'll probably be using this as your backup, or you'll be using it somewhere that doesn't have access to a, a more robust lease line. Surprisingly, it's not that expensive compared to most business lines, most business-based connections that you'd be looking at. So high-performance model, you're looking at two and a half, three thousand pounds for the unit and the router. At monthly cost, depending on the package that you choose. So the basic package, you get 40 gig a month. It's, it's gonna cost you less than a hundred pounds. This is gonna be a great little backup edition.